Aloha, y'all. This is Rhonda Aprons um, here for uh, our, I guess it's our sixth day of our second annual Web TV Trailblazer Summit. And uh, today we are very privileged to have David Corum, who is the Chief Knowledge Officer, CKO, and uh, a, an incredible crowdfunding expert is our guest today. And David, after 35 years, um, helping corporations and small businesses. Um, he is now pursuing his passion to help businesses raise capital for uh, startups and just wonderful innovations. In the past, he's raised over $700 million of profit for projects, and he, ha he is involved in building the largest global crowdfund crowdsourcing uh, think tank. And here to talk about the secret of crowdfunding is David Corum. Welcome, David. And tell us, how did you get into crowdfunding? Uh, first of all, thank you, Rhonda, for inviting me. And thank you for this fantastic venue. Uh, the reason I started crowdfunding planning was in 2006, uh, I finished a pretty size, a good size project, somewhere about $147 million, and kind of got retired. And I found that I need something more interesting than just small business or managing business. Uh, working in corporate America and working in a small business, I just needed something that I can wake up. Something actually I call it that when I'm doing it, I'm vacationing. Therefore, I chose to vacation. As part of that, I learned about a, a new area of a, something called crowdsourcing. Basically being able to bring a, a lot of people that are outside four walls of the office in the office and I start working with them. That is definitely is not business process employment or business process outsourcing. It is business process crowdsourcing. How we can do it faster, better, cheaper, and uh, did several projects and uh, uh, built portals and websites. I was contacted by a head of the uh, uh, one of our universities in Southern California in 2009. Uh, State University of Fullerton, and he asked me that, can I uh, basically put together a crowdfunding website? Uh, I started studying about crowdfunding, knowing that you know, my background is uh, in technology development of software, deployment of the hardware and software. Uh, after a couple of months of his study, the decision was that, yes, we can, but we would not. And the reason behind it was that uh, my previous experience showed me that once somebody starts with development of the software and uh, portals, one has to have pretty big size amount of money for its marketing. Uh, that is the reason today, if you search for crowdfunding world uh, and search for Indiegogo or Kickstarter, you see both Indiegogo and Kickstarter have a higher ranking than the name crowdfunding. That basically is amount of marketing. This Hello, hi startup. all. This is Rhonda Abrams um, here for uh, our, I our that's okay day of our second annual Web TV Trailblazers. I know what it is. And, uh, I'm not even are, sure where that's coming from. That is okay. Uh, that is actually I was in the channel oh, because okay. <laughs> this, this I, was say, I, didn't, I didn't think I had it up anywhere else. That's okay. Go ahead. This webcasting starts with so many, it's such a, a few minutes delay for the public. Uh, to make the story short, we went in to focus on uh, working in crowdfunding project with focusing, and here I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the presentation that I have here. Okay. Uh, by the way, I am a completely a Google head. Everything I do, somehow, some way, it has to do with leveraging with Google because I strongly believe in especially crowdfunding that you need to get close to crowd. One needs to really be able to leverage with Google. Anyway, our focus and forte is, in, uh, is on three uh, subjects, crowdfunding education, crowdfunding consulting, and crowdfunding marketing and promotion. 
As part of the education part, we are learning together since 2009 regarding crowdfunding equity, crowdfunding uh, rewards, and also crowdfunding for causes. Therefore, as we go forward on a daily basis, our job is to be very relevant to the subject matter. And for us not to forget, we teach it. Case in point would be I was teaching crowdfunding in front of 29 Chinese uh, officials uh, last week. And tomorrow we are teaching crowdfunding techniques to an NGO in Europe that they built uh, uh, crowdfunding causes uh, projects to deploy and uh, e implement projects in Africa. So you're really going international here. Uh, again, um, uh, that is, a, uh, thank you Rhonda for saying that. The word crowd in crowdfunding means everybody. There is 3.2 billion internet users. We have, and please do not find it funny, we have 500 websites. Therefore, these websites makes us to be known and there is an old saying that if you are planning to promote anybody, it doesn't matter if it's for crowdfunding or for anything else, you should be able to promote yourself. Therefore, our task in 2009 and 2010 and 11 was that anybody types crowdfunding promotion, crowdfunding, crowdfunding promotion, crowdfunding consulting, crowdfunding mentors, crowdfunding coaches, crowdfunding conferences, and uh, on and on and on, they find us on first page of Google, first position. And we have been able to do that. And for the audience, uh, that's a very good test that regardless of what projects they do, promoting themselves, promoting their clients, promoting their uh, crowdfunding, with whatever technique, before, during, or after crowdfunding campaign, they show up on the first page, they will be able to really promote their idea and promote what they want to do. People are, might be surprised that uh, the largest crowdfunding project ever rose, I'm sorry, raised uh, somewhere about uh, $54 million. Wow. Outside crowdfunding reward projects. The specific instance is a Southern California company uh, that did a crowdfunding uh, with Kickstarter. The name is the Star Citizen. And during the crowdfunding, the goal was half a mil. I believe they got to 2.1 million. Now, if you go to this uh, website or they go to the crowdfunding campaign page, it's like many other successful campaign pages with one big difference. Right underneath of the video, the crowdfunding ask video, you see that there, it says that if you are here and you cannot participate because the campaign is closed, please click here. By clicking ah, there... That's an idea anyone could do. Absolutely. We do it for most of our clients. But what happened is, when they clicked on and you went out, if you search today for Star Citizen Kickstarter, of course you see the campaign and you see the number I mentioned, half a million, 2.1 million. But if you search for Star Citizen 57 million, you go to the article by the by, by Star Citizen organization that they say, the momentum of the crowdfunding reward got them to 57 million. Wow, that's impressive. That's correct, that's correct. Therefore, uh, going back to uh, uh, what we do is, uh, we really focus in uh, education, we really focus in consulting, and we really focus in marketing and promotion. Now, what you, what you see here, by the way, it's called intranet website that is used by us internally. And if I go to the bottom of this, uh, 
he says down here, powered by Google Sites. Our organization is a Google Apps organization. We have crowdfunding planning, crowdfunding mentors. We are a strategic partner with crowdfunding bid and uh, international online crowdfunding online magazine. We have crowdfunding frameworks that basically is an e-learning package in the cloud that one can go ahead and uh, start getting educated. We have crowdfunding billboard that basically we billboard our clients' projects. We are a strategic partner with Velocity Kick. Velocity Kick is an organization that if you provide them with your uh, email addresses or social media, they will find out who among your crowd, based on specific key phrases, are the influencer and decision makers. We are managing crowdfunding union, crowdfunding relaunch, crowdfunding soft launch, and we are also a part of the Google Helpouts, that is video conferencing on air and consulting. As I mentioned, we have many, many websites and what you just see here is our top 28 websites. All of these are designed for different vertical within crowdfunding. And also is designed for different phases of crowdfunding. What I mean from phases is very simple. Crowdfunding uh, projects usually gets engaged before crowdfunding campaign. Therefore, there are series of things needs to be done during pre-crowdfunding campaign. There are series of strategic and technical things needs to be done or steps needs to be done during the crowdfunding campaign. And when the campaign is over, if it's success or not success, then there are series of action items has to be taken. I want to go on record. I've never seen an unsuccessful crowdfunding. Usually the word unsuccessful is kind of emotional word. I usually like to look at it like if you try to do bicycling as a kid, are you unsuccessful when you drop off the bicycle first time or second time? Are you going to say, I'm not going to do it? Therefore, I look at the crowdfunding as a art and a science and techniques that needs to be learned, needs to be applied, because it's going to be part of the business. The last thing here is I want to take you to this page. As you see, we have a lot of interest purchasing domains for crowdfunding. Why we do this thing? This is a piece of real estate in the cloud that allows us to be relevant and also be able to promote. Recently, my team, team has purchased Indiegogo.expert, Kickstarter.expert, and here you see a lot of things has to do with crowdfunding real estate and others. Now, going back. So um, I can see this is that you have this incredible setup that would you know help your your clients. Um, how would a regular person, you know, I, I think a regular person probably couldn't do 500 websites and and um, you know all these links. I mean, is there a smaller number that would you know help like a web series or a small business person? Absolutely. No, we got to see. Who are we communicating with? Are we communicating with, uh, actually, I'd much rather to type something here and show you because that makes it proud. In, when it comes to crowdfunding uh, and, and what we call it us as a human, mm -hmm. we have uh, really four type of people that they get engaged with. Therefore, for a startups, they don't have to have 500 websites, correct? And uh, they need to have a optimized website with the fabric of Google. And people might say, David, why fabric of Google? Why not WordPress, Joomla, and other? Well, I believe Google likes Google. I believe 
if something is cheaper, better, faster, and resides in Google data center, then uh, that's the way to go. Therefore, we need to find out that what a startups need using the techniques needed to be found, and then once they are found, be able to convert followers to backers, investors, and then they got to be able to use the statistics and analytics provided to be able to find more backers and more followers. The second group of people are investors. A lot of investors, they are looking at crowdfunding these days. I used to call them micro angels or micro philanthropists. But after a few events in Southern California recently, I have seen many, many angels are looking to crowdfunding. As you know, there was a crowdfunding in Southern California for a 3D glass called Oculus Reef. And they, they tried to raise half a million. I believe they got to 2.5 million. They start successfully delivering the product to the people that they purchased it, and they invested in their crowdfunding reward in Kickstarter. And a company was, was watching them. Once they saw that these folks, they have proven product, they have de-risked the delivery and proof of concept, then they showed up in their company right at the middle of the delivery of the product and present them by a $2 million check. I'm sorry, $2 billion check. Oh, my goodness. Therefore, if you search Google for Facebook, $2 billion, 3D glass, you can read the article. Now, amazing. No, it, 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 the, the, this particular organization uh, that they built this 3D glass has been studied very closely by investors because simply, if you look at it, if a VC or angel does not want to risk with their money, how about they look at the projects that they have followers, proof of concept, customers, the R&D has no issues because these people are delivering, completely de-risking their investor investments, and then simply drop a check. And by doing that, they are owner of the project, owner, to owner of the, what you and I, we call it IP, intellectual property, and also have an excellent relationship with uh, employees because they just turn out to be millionaires, correct? Right. It's a win-win situation. The third group of people in the list are consultants, people that basically you might call them advisors, people such as yourself, people such as us. Therefore, the ecosystem, startups, investors, and mentor advisors, and our focus is to build the largest crowdfunding advisory in the world. If today you search for crowdfunding mentor or mentors, first page of Google, first position worldwide, you will see our portal, and I'm going to put here crowdfunding mentors. And as you see, we are on the first page with our website, with our video optimization, within our Google Plus, within our Twitter, we, we, we rule the first page for those key phrases. David, and, David I'm not seeing what you're writing. OK, I, what, what I typed out there was crowdfunding mentors. OK. For uh, crowdfunding. The help, the page. The web page is still up. On okay. The, on the screen okay. there. Okay, let me do this then. And uh, sure. Let me go back. 
what happened is I typed crowdfunding mentors here. And as you see, we are first page first position, our video search engine optimization, Twitter, LinkedIn, and crowdfunding tank. All these things are us, even the crowdfunding frameworks is our organization. Then when I click here, you see that we have started building the mentorship program. Therefore, we are uh, delighted to have Dr. Greco with us. He's the head of the finance department, School of uh, State University of Fullerton, School of Mojado. We got Sydney Armani. We got uh, uh, Michael, that an IP attorney. Jim, uh, Dr. Christie, that basically is the crowdfunding psychologist. Sam Mian is one of our senior mentors. Air, uh, uh, Brian is our crowdfunding attorney. And my favorite, Howard Rangel, this gentleman is my mentor. He teaches in Berkeley and Stanford University. And on and on and on and on. As you see people, they are working with us. OK. Therefore, going back, by building the mentorship, what we do is we help the other four division, startups, investors, mentors, and basically comes to support teams. Who are the support teams? Uh, financial companies uh, from folks that they advise people what to do with the money because once you receive two, three million dollars, then you have all different set of problems organization that help them to build the infrastructure from IT all the way to hardware, organization that help uh, 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 startups to do fast prototyping, uh, legal teams. Therefore, the other group that I did not talk about, the fourth group, are crowdfunding services of all different kinds. Within crowdfunding, the ones that are the most famous are the ones that they help a crowdfunding project owner to do fulfillment, to be able to package the stuff, and on and on and on. Now, if you allow me, I want to start focusing on, on uh, actually some detail on Are you there? Yes. OK. <laughs> Okay. I heard okay. silence and I, I, I froze. Uh, I, <laughs> okay, no problem. I want to go through the I want to go to the real detail on how we help these folks. Okay, that sounds excellent. Okay. Just want to make sure that I make this thing bigger rather than a smaller control plus not control. Okay. Since we have many many. Uh, uh, so-called uh, portals and we have name to the fame and people they contact us directly or we come to the venue such as this we get contacted and we have found a way to go ahead and uh, uh, basically be able to uh, speak with the entrepreneur to be able to qualify him and as part of the qualification what we do is we basically ask them four specific questions. Question number one, how much money are you planning to raise? Question number two, what is your timing when it comes to launch your crowdfunding? Do you want to launch it 30 seconds from now or five months from now? Question number three, what is the size of the social presence? How much email addresses, social media crowd, and also friends and family or crowd they have at this time. The fourth question and last question is, as they're planning to do crowdfunding, how much time they want to get engaged with the process? Because our process right now is about 175 action items that needs to be done before and during crowdfunding camp uh, campaign. And based on these four questions, we qualify them, and then we select because 
We are success based and we cannot accept all projects. Therefore, we focus on the one that we see they have good possibility. Okay. Right, okay, right after that, we get engaged with something called a business model. As you see here, and I'm going to go control plus, content control. The business model. In the business model, we have 10 specific questions that we ask, and we really want one to two paragraph to be answered. This replaces the business plan uh, 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 that people that usually have. Nobody wants to read the five page executive summary, 20 pages of crowdfund, uh, I'm sorry, 20 pages of business plan that is full of assumption. Therefore, we rely on a business model that allows us to not only understand the project, but also be in the same phase and the same sync with our client. What are the questions? I give you the first five of them. What is a big idea is all about? What problem are you solving? What is your value proposition? Please, please, one single line. The fourth question is, what is your compet competitiveness or what is called unfair advantages? Question number five is, what is the vertical? Nobody can boil the ocean. Nobody can sell what I have here. Uh, anybody and everybody can use. That might be true, but then they have to bring a couple of million dollars worth of marketing money in order for us to go after every vertical. Question number six is, how are you going to go to market? Are you going to build a website and do a crowdfunding? Or are you going to have a shopping cart? Are you going to go to market through Amazon, other methods? Because crowdfunding is a marketplace by itself. I want to spend uh, one minute on this subject. Okay. Today, when you contact Amazon and when you contact eBay, uh, they have the product you want, and uh, you pay, and they ship it. Therefore, I call this thing post-production marketplace. In post-production marketplace, you see what it is, you get it, and you can return it. Crowdfunding is a pre-order marketplace of a kind. First of all, what you pay doesn't exist. When they build it, they will ship it to you. There's some risk involved, but you'll be able to buy it usually cheaper and be the very first one and enjoy what it is. Again, we have a small project, we have a large project, but it's two different marketplaces. The next thing that we do is we sit down with the uh, clientele, in this case the crowdfunding project owner, and we go through a very detailed research. What is this research is all about? As of today, Maybe in one or two instances, I have not seen really, really original idea. I see implementation and improvement of some ideas, but I have not seen really, really original idea because if it is, then I don't believe it. You know, it's just uh, because of the internet, a lot of information is out there. We do a detailed research to find out about the product services or uh, or. Uh, the environment that the project is all about. We find the competition, we find the uh, best practices when it comes to crowdfunding projects. Maybe there was something close to it. We search the key phrases, we search the density, we find out where in the United States uh, or, or, or the world there is interest on it. With those information, we go back to the client and we say that we believe there is a momentum and we believe based on real information, what could be the project goal or funding goal? Of course, it's easy that everybody wants a million dollar or half a million dollar, but where the momentum is. Recently, I'm doing a project for a remote control 
when issue of blind, basically a uh, German uh, came to the office and took the plastic wand out of our window blind, replaced it by his own plastic wand. But this plastic wand has motors and has batteries and has gears, and it rotates. And it brings the wind shop line up or down. In our research, by surprise, we noticed that the most clients they are in Europe. And the reason was really eye opening to us. Because of the climate change and sun, a lot of British they are buying a lot of blinds because they are not used to this much sun. Okay. Already. Therefore, our research not only finds area of marketing, but also finds area for our clients. Because just, Im just imagine, if most purchases is from London, one has to really know about shipping costs and a lot of other things. Therefore, by having that knowledge, we get uh, acceptance by the client to go ahead and move to what we call it infrastructure mode. What is the infrastructure? You cannot build a house, build a campaign without having an infrastructure. We research the best domain for the project that is optimized. And why? It's very simple. Everybody has a brand name. But to promote a brand name when you are a crowdfunding project owner is extremely difficult because you have to spend a lot of money. A brand name is, is difficult? Yes. Let me give you an example. Uh, have a client that they work in uh, in in a uh, uh, business of say when you shop blind that's a good one. The name of the organization is Easy Want. How many people sit home tonight and they type Easy Want to find this organization? Correct. Okay, so if the brand is not well known, I... not in crowdfunding, most of the brands are not known at all. Yeah, exactly. That is one of the problem. If they were known, then one doesn't have to go to a, a so-called crowdfunding. Exactly. What we did is by researching, we found remotewindowblinds.com are part of what is called long tail key phrase or keyword. Therefore, when people are looking to get the remote blinds, there's a high possibility that they get remote window blinds.com. Not window blinds, but they get to this key phrase. Now, you know that any things that any page we create after this, it's going to have that optimized domain behind it. This is part of, uh, uh, now looking at this website, we call it crowdfunding campaign website. The difference between this website and any other regular website is that we are asking for conversion many, many times. Let's count it. One, two, three, four. Oops, I went there. Five, six. First page is designed to collect email addresses because we need to build a crowd. Very strategic. The videos are there. Google site is there, and as you see, it has all the so-called uh, drop-down menus here. This is a working project right now. The video is up here, as you see, mm -hmm. because we really know the visitors. They give us eight seconds, and that's it. Eight seconds. Yes, that is the average as of 2013 research. When people they search for anything, they come to the page. If it's not interesting, they will leave it. Therefore, all these so-called call for actions that you see here and here, 
and even limited time enter now for a chance to win an easy one is a way for us to be able to capture that eight second and simply get the email and get the name. After this, this information will go to, and I'm going to go back to where I was talking. And okay. Now, as you see, we go out and try to get all the information as much as possible, bring it in. And this information, they go through the infrastructure that we built for the client that is basically called Google Apps. It's Google for work infrastructure in a cloud, very inexpensive at $50 a year per user that has many, many components such as email, desktop application, video, uh, so-called uh, conferencing like you and I we have right now. But also you can put CRM next to it. And CRM is the software that gets the email addresses and the name and organize it. Now, I want to mention a two word. Social capital. What is the social capital? Your list of email addresses or social media addresses of the people that you are interested on your subject matter. You see, we use key phrases, we use website to predict what you like at home or at work. Because if we find those interests and link it to the website, then we have a way to be able to communicate with you more. For example, if I have email addresses on day before crowdfunding, I will invite you to come to be one of the early investors or early flag waivers or early backers of the projects. We always say crowdfunding is not a field of dream. If people, they think they build it, they come, well, they don't. You have to invite them. And you have to take care of them. I, I have a question about the invitation. Is it okay to ask? Please. Um, is it is it necessary to, because this is what I hear, to get people to sign up, to give them some sort of a free gift as an enticement, or is it really possible that what you have can be enough? I mean, is the free gift thing really all that important? Uh, the answer is very simple. You got to change the frame of your uh, mind regarding this. Because of the way we have been uh, doing business or the way business has been, we know about outbound marketing. If I say we have, we got to go to a convention hall, you know exactly what I mean. If I say telemarketing, you know what I mean. If I say email marketing, you know, and also sending flyers to people's house, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Crowdfunding is not going to use those outbounding techniques. It's going to use inbounding techniques, such as websites, such as social media. People, they got to find you. Now, when you invite these people, they come in, you have to invite them in masses. You got to be able to bring X thousands to be able to keep hundreds of them. And no answer to your question. When you get the, your first 100 people, family, friends of family, your marketing uh, company. We have like 250,000 people in our crowdfunding social media engines. Uh, actually, I did a project I will show you. I was able to put together 1.07 million people interested in one crowdfunding subject. I'm talking millions. When you invite these people in, the very first hundred you want to be able to harvest them again. I'm sorry using the word harvesting, but that's what it is. By contacting them, thanking them to be your original investors, and give them a gift. And what the gift is given when they bring additional investors in. Ah. Correct? That, 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 that. You see, now, uh, one of my largest projects with the, with the organization here is a group of people that I worked with them uh, there in Atlanta, and they were a music band that we raised money for them, and they give us a referral to go work with 
an organization in Southern California that many people know them by name of Digital Underground. Digital Underground is a musical incubator for uh, uh, hip hop musician as famous as uh, uh, Tupac Shakur, as famous as uh, Humpy Hum, and others. Uh, our work with them right now is to make a, a crowdfunding project that raises money that really shows a documentary of how hip hop in Southern California really started. And as we were doing our key phrase and keywords, we were able to purchase them. It's on the ball here, I'm reading it. HipHopEarlyDays.com. The word early days means a lot. Hip hop means a lot. But nobody had the HipHopEarlyDays.com, and we purchased it. And uh, our folks right now, they are working on development of the website. And uh, if I go right up here, and if I go right up here, and uh, oh. so this project is a movie. Basically, it's a documentary. Documentary, okay. Sorry, right, documentary that uh, uh, is going to be done uh, for really talking about this story and bring a lot of happiness to a lot of because there are going to be a lot of goody things for people that they participate. Not only the movie, not only have an opportunity to be part of the casting, and uh, not only be part of the, what, what you and I, we call it, uh, uh, part, part of the history, because whoever participates to this, then they really, really can participate to how everything was, how successful it was, and also, as you see, the uh, so-called uh, uh, artists that they started. But this is going to be a movie. And at this time, we are waiting for the crowdfunding video to be released that we can plug it in and start launching this. Wow. Again, you say, David, call for actions are there. Social media are there. Social media share buttons are here. But the layout is different. And I honestly believe the domain is beautiful. It is. I, and so this is part of what you're talking about is you have all these things you do before you long, you get the followers. Correct. And as you notice right now, I went through the domain and we talked about the infrastructure of the Google Apps that allows people to collect information and collaborate. We build the social media channels and social media names because those names are as important as domains. We train the people that they are doing all this thing to make sure that all they can participate, correct? Mm -hmm. And um, then we start uh, working on registration of the uh, campaign because that takes time. And also the crowdfunding video development and all the support application. Now, we do something called business intelligence setup that basically we allows the clients to be able to get information about themselves, about their competition, about any upcoming projects or any old projects. Within 24 hours, they get notification. That allows them to be relevant before and after crowdfunding, because you really got to know who's talking about you, who's talking about your competition, who's talking about your projects, and those are all possible. At the same juncture, as you see here, we are working on crowdfunding campaign component. We have to find the best practices, things that did not work and things that did work. And that's what we do at this time. Let me, uh, let me go. Wow. No. So, so you know, web series producers, um, it's more involved than just uh, getting your pitch video and putting up a page on Kickstarter and then inviting your Facebook friends, huh? Absolutely. Let me go to a technical level and just let me go to the website 
and show you something here. Prior to crowdfunding, your website can do all of these things. Inform viewer, build, promote the brand, build the page, uh, ranking, build the social media, uh, uh, so-called uh, cons, followers, and so on and so forth, collect naming, and so on and so forth. And during the crowdfunding, can direct the traffic to your crowdfunding campaign page. And after the crowdfunding, can turn out to be your shopping cart, collecting even more. This is one of our designs. As you see, it has pretty detailed, nice uh, so-called uh, navigation bar. Mm -hmm. Single sentence that it says, for example, in our case, we make yours the one that matters. Learn more, first call for action, second call, third call, fourth call, fifth call, sixth call, right on the first page, correct? and everything else that comes with it. Now, as you were saying that, the website by itself, and I'm waiting for a bunch of things to show up. You recall that on a strategic time, I shared with you what are the steps. These are the steps required just to have a website. We have gone to research last three years what works, what doesn't work, what should be, what people they see, what should be under the hood, and even going down to neuromarketing. And what I mean from neuromarketing, human brains carries a hormone called oxytocin. You get oxytocin when you go to church, or you go to mosque, or you go to synagogue, and you cry, or somehow you cry because whatever they tell you, and you get emotional, and by that, oxytocin makes you to open up the wallet. When the mother is nursing the, 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 the child, that is given. Moms has a lot of oxytocin in their brain. When somebody is getting married, the mother-in-law has a lot of oxytocin. There are ways to create oxytocin with pictures, with videos, and I have seen a lot of it in very success successful crowdfunding. I invite you to go to Kickstarter, watch a crowdfunding campaign called Embrace. It's about the lady that under stress, loses a lot of weight. She gets where she needs to be, where the way people they want it, and then she gains weight. When you watch the video, they gotta give her an Oscar on creating oxytocin. Wow. She made she made a lot of money. Anyway, therefore, uh, basically, uh, uh, neuromarketing. If you go to uh, Wikipedia, there's a good definition of it. Uh, people that they are uh, in New York marketing agencies, they are excellent. It goes down to the words you use, it goes down to the pictures, to the video, to the actions. Um, for example, uh, how many times on a radio ever heard discover, prov uh, discover proven result? These are all trust words that is used. Right. Correct. And how many times in uh, products you see a puppy dog? I was going to say all those cute, all those cute animal photos all over the place. There's reason behind it. <laughs> now, I want all the audience to remember the following sentence because a lot of crowdfunding projects I look, they completely miss it. The sentence is, features and benefit would tell story would sell. Tell a story. People, they want to relate. This is a pre-order event. They got to trust you. Correct? Right. A picture, bunch of slideshows, it really doesn't work. You got to tell a story. Now, don't be surprised. 
The best people that they know how to tell a story and they know how to use the camera called videographer or movie maker are the highest ranking crowdfunding projects ever in Kickstarter and Indiegogo. The reason is they can tell a story. They know how to use the camera. And video is your business plan, is the way you communicate. Don't ever forget, te a picture is a thousand text, and a video is a thousand pictures. You have to have a decent video. And it doesn't have to be expensive, but shouldn't be sitting in some conference room. They want to see you in your garage. And mentally, when you think of Steve Wozniak or you look at uh, Bill Gates, your mind doesn't see them in their conference room. They see them in a garage because of those emotional scar they put in your brain. Exactly. Thank you. Um, I'm passionate regarding crowdfunding. <laughs> I speak on its strategic, technical, and tactical. Actually, what you see here that I'm going over is a 10 hours training for our crowdfunding mentors. Because we train mentors, doesn't matter what vertical they come from. They come from law, they come from marketing, they come from electronics or technical point of view. All of them, they have a moment in crowdfunding. And if they discover it, then they have a job and they have a future. These 10 hours, uh, we really empower them with a lot of good information, practical information. Some of them are talented. They use it by themselves. And some, they use our back office once they know what the components are. Therefore, our education and training is not only for crowdfunding project owners, but also consultants and mentors. And every single one, as they get added to us, we get more empowered. And that is called crowdsourcing or expert crowdsourcing. Now, if there's any specific question or so, I'd be more than happy to respond. I've gone already close to one hour. Yes, I was looking. I think everyone's been spellbound. I don't see any questions yet. So. Um, while I see if someone wants to go ahead and be brave enough to put up a question, how about, um, so for a web series, you said that they tend to, because they're storytellers, they tend to be the highest um, crowd funders. Um, what would be like the, the main things that you would suggest for, let's say, you know, uh, online TV series to start setting up so that maybe they get picked up by a network before, you know, during the process sometime. <laughs> yeah, uh, fortunately, I have a project like that at this time. A network for like an angel, so. I, I have a project like that right now. Uh, being in Southern California, we're very close to Hollywood. Uh, this producer actually is a guild member. Uh, he has got engaged with us in two levels not only be a mentor, but also complete his own project. It's about 13 series, 13-part uh, series that uh, can be launched on a TV a channel or can be launched on a web series. Right now, uh, his goal is to go after TVs. And it's about healthy woman aging. Uh, the main character. Her name is Kim Castle. She, she is uh, basically has a mono that it says, I'm too busy to get old. And uh, she experienced a series of uh, traumas in her life, and she started finding solution. And fortunately, for good of everybody, she started recording it as she was finding those solutions. Her loss issues, hormonal issues, uh, uh, pain issues, everything that goes on uh, f for ladies that they pass 40s, 50s, and 60s. She's young, by the way. She's very young. She's not that age. But <laughs> they start documenting this, and 
the what they have done is amazing. If you just put Kim Castle right now, she has gone, they have gone into make a lot of teasers talking about different subject, empowering their website that is called Healthy Woman Aging. And by the way, that is an optimized name. It's and we are, we are working together to go ahead and launch this project. It's very rewarding to me personally because uh, People that I work with, my own family, uh, can really benefit from this video series. There were a lot of things I didn't know uh, that really affects uh, women's health, correct? Uh, and, uh, th and there are solutions for it, by the way. And uh, those solutions sometimes is not clear, it's not there. And uh, Kim is doing a one hell of a job. Again, I, I, it, she just recently released an episode on hair loss that was really very educational. Wow. Therefore the advice is planning, 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 right, find a network of people that they can help you and be part of the team because crowdfunding is a team effort, is not a single thing that you can put out and you think, oh, people, they're going to find you. If they do, you get lucky. And uh, I keep hearing from people, uh, people they raise money on a potato soup. If you study some of this campaign down to the detail, you will see that they have been heavily promoted, silently, or been heavily promoted by an actor or actress that they have thousands or maybe million followers. It's not by accident. Um, there's a question. You. Someone said you mentioned a, a team. What is like the minimum, bare minimum of a team you would need before you went into crowdfunding? Very good, very good. I'm an engineer as a background. Uh, I have a few degrees here and there. I'm a device physics engineer and this or that. Uh, usually developer or crowdfunding project owner, they are technical people. They forget the very first day as you decide to build this, you have to have somebody to do marketing. Therefore, the minimum amount of team that you need, you need really, really a person that is good in inbound marketing. Now, if you want to know what is inbound marketing in vertical of crowdfunding, go to a website called crowdfund not funding, crowdfundmadeeasy.com. Okay, that's, I'm going to repeat it, crowdfundmadeeasy.com. In there, I did something that uh, many people, even with our organization, had questions why. And it's almost like you go to a restaurant and you ask for food, and they just describe the food and not to give you the menu. As you see here, there is a menu list of everything that needs to go to crowdfunding. To answer your last question, you need to, even if you have one person, you need to decide which of this you can do, which of this he or she can do, and start the journey. It's not one item. It okay. is many, many, many items. And so would you need one person to handle like so many of them or one, you know, section? Yeah. Yeah. You know that there are a website, crowdsourcing website, such as odesk.com or elance.com. Odesk is o and desk.com. Mm -hmm. e as an Edward lands.com and if you search for crowdfunding there are many 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 people in it that they are crowdsource people translation you buy their time on chunks not a W2 not a 1099 crowdsource you do not even know where these people are sometimes United States sometime outside and you ask your partner whoever that is working with you <coughs> my apology, to go work with 
group of these people and give them tasks and delivery. For example, build my social media, build my crowd. And that's funny, build my crowd, because that takes time. But you are an expert out there. Right. People such as, such as us, you hire us and we work in some of those areas for you. And again, it depends on those four questions. How much? The big difference between 100000 or a million dollars. When? Big difference between 30 seconds to six months. That, that's extremely important. Size of the social media. Uh, if you have Charlie Sheen as a friend, then he has 10 million followers. You don't need to build a crowd. If you don't, and you got a couple of hundred people or a couple of people in your social media, then you got to ask, who is coming to help my project at the beginning? Because uh, crowdfunding websites, portals, they look at, can you bring your own friends and family to it that can at least give you 30% of the goal? And right. the goal is whatever. OK, last thing again, as I mentioned, how much time one wants to spend. You're talking about it. The more crowd followers, flag waivers you have, the more chance you get. Correct? Uh, for audience, I want to leave a gift here that uh, actually helps. I'm going to type here uh, crowd funding. Uh, affiliate, okay, affiliate, and I'm going to put uh, the work here. Uh, the easiest way I can go to is uh, Thunder app. Thunder Clap is a crowd speaking software or portal. My, my job was to get this page that I just clicked on mm -hmm. and expose it to as many as people possible. You say, David, this easily could be your crowdfunding website or web page. As you see, I was able to find 266 people that on July 30th, 3.30 p.m., they could reach one million people. Wow. Now, don't be surprised if I was as famous and beautiful as Beyonce, <laughs> I could have reached one billion people. Wow. Promote a value. So, as you see, there are tools many methods that can be used to reach the crowd, interest them, and bring them home. Your social assets, the number of the people that you have in your crowd with you, can be kept entertained with your social media, with your email marketing, with your monthly flyers and news newsletters. And once you have them, you can ask them not only to come and help you, but also you never know which one of these folks they be your partner, people that they help you to make your idea more complete and promote you. Uh, at the end, please don't forget the video. You need to promote your video. Go to YouTube, type crowdfunding or type what is crowdfunding, you will find my video at 145,000 view called what is crowdfunding. Wow. Um, just real quick, because I know we're, we're gone over time, but there is one more question I think is pretty good. Sure. What is the maximum uh, time on a, uh, a video for crowdfunding? Is Very good question. Actually, um, I know that uh, the real true span of attention is very short in video, somewhere about 30 seconds. Therefore, I don't even call it crowdfunding video. I call it crowdfunding ask video. <laughs> Therefore, if you want to go five minutes, and please don't, because uh, 
if he's not entertaining, people don't spend that much time to go to the end. The few one that I have seen that are entertaining, uh, for example, um, I got to be careful because some of these campaigns they don't have a, a, a <laughs> nice name. But uh, a video like a Dollar Shave Club or uh, Don't Give a Crap. All these videos are kind of funny uh, uh, that they, people they stay with you. But don't go above 2.5 minutes. That's what it works for us. Okay. Uh, and, uh, if you go to a website called and please don't laugh again. Sometimes we're out of the uh, imagination. Crowdfunding, crowdfunding.com. Crowdfunding, crowdfunding.com. You see our video animations. You see some of our work there that we leave it with the clients that they take a look at. Again, we promote our values. But again, uh, you see that how you can, in a short time, really drive. But ask at the beginning, ask in the middle, and ask at the end. Please, don't ask for money. Just say, this is a chance for you to can be involved. Or now you can be part of the team. You need to ask, because if you don't ask, they do not even know why they're watching the video. OK, so don't ask for money. Ask for uh, involvement. Big time, because you want to give them a chance to make a difference, to be really helping you. Remember, crowdfunding, people don't use the front door features and benefit. If they do, they simply go to Amazon. They use their inner brain, the inner brain, the element of want. They've got to trust you and they gotta want it. That is for, for doing that, you they they really have to feel that they're going to be part of the team that is going to make this thing a success. David, this has been absolutely amazing I am just so happy and grateful that you took the time to uh, come share all this with us today and um, I'm sure that people will be watching it over and over and also um, people will be catching the replays because I've been writing notes like crazy and I'm here <laughs> this has been really great and for those of you who are uh, on Google Plus if you go to where it says official site, you just click that, and that is uh, David's uh, crowdfunding planning, I believe it was, that link. And um, I've written down a few other links on the uh, comments, and I'll get some more after the video and put it down so you can connect up with David. And um, David, any last words? Uh, crowdfunding is a 90 three billion dollar business. People they object to it because of the crowdfunding reward that they are scared of it. I'm sorry, crowdfunding equity that they are scared of it or whatever. It is really not relevant. I work in Israel. I work in Australia. I work with Chinese. By the way, Chinese, they have the market, they have the money, and they have the manufacturing. We've got to be very careful about them. Um, this is a really worldwide event. Resistance is futile. <laughs> do you think it actually, it sounds to me like it may be changing the economics of our world. What do you think about that? Well, it's going to do more than that. Uh, I, I will tell you at the end, why am I sitting here? There is one project, maybe a few hours from now or a few days and months or year from now, that will hit our office. That net result of it would change something drastically in humanity. There are projects like that. If you go to crowdenergy.com, you see a project that basically places a device in the ocean or in the river and collects electricity. Wow. That would change the course of humanity. Correct? There are many projects out there, like Bloombox, that the box accepts gas and sucks oxygen and gives you electricity. This means you don't need the grid. This means you can go leave, place it outside the regular uh, metropolitan. And even something simpler than that. A single project 
that can really produce drinkable water from ocean because seven part of the world is ocean. And that single project would change the human uh, course of history, course of human history, because guess what? People won't have problem with water. And that's one of the biggest problems we have. Therefore, I'm sitting here waiting for that project because I want to be somewhere in history written about. And I'm because of the crowdfunding, because of its momentum, and because of this 3.2 billion people in the world, it's just a matter of time or when and not if. Well, I can definitely see why you're so passionate about all this. You got me going just listening to all that. That's that's fantastic. And again, I have the best job ever. The door opens up, the call comes in with some fantastic ideas. And everyone is different than the other. I should give you a list of projects we are working here. But each one are different. The positive energy is there. And very early in the game, you know this is real or it's not real. And uh, then uh, the rest of it is just working very hard. There's no shortcuts. There is no magic. And I, I hear people that they say they can guarantee crowdfunding campaign success. But then I think if they can do that, why they don't do it for themselves and be a billionaire? <laughs> right? It, it is a hard work. It, is, it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of different crafts. And uh, I have a team here just works on its automation how to reach more people, relevant people. But you need a lot of automation. Most of this software and these portals, has, they have not even been developed yet. Wow, that's amazing. Well, thank you, David. And thank, thank you. you so much for staying over time, because I know you're a very, very, very busy man. So this is, this is, this is really a treat. I thank you. And if people, they want to reach me, they can contact me, contact us at crowdfunding planning, that's contact us at crowdfunding planning, or if they go to crowdfunding planning, our phone numbers, information, there's all of them. Okay, so that's contact us at crowdfunding. At crowd, like a crowd of people, crowdfunding. At crowdfunding, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down. Crowdfunding.com. <coughs> wow, you got crowdfunding. Crowdfunding, crowdfunding planning. <laughs> No, if I have crowdfunding.com, <laughs> that's really that's valuable. That's amazing. I think, I, it sounds <laughs> like you got the corner of this market. <laughs> well, I do have crowdfunding for Jesus, crowdfunding for Christ. We have registered a lot of very powerful uh, uh, crowdfunding uh, domains in anticipation of future. Wow. That's available to our clients, by the way. If they want to have it, they can. Awesome. Awesome. You are really a spectacular human being. Thank you so much, David. And thank you, everyone, who came out to watch. Um, I don't know. I only got a couple of questions, so I guessed, I don't know if it was just, you know, spellbinding, because it was for me, um, and you're just taking notes like I was, or um, if you're, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I bet they're all taking notes. So anyway, uh, get a hold of David at contact us at crowdfunding.com. If you have any questions you think of later or after you go through your notes, and he'll be happy to answer them. And thank you so much, David, and um, for your time. It's my pleasure, and thank you very much, Rhonda, for this opportunity. Keep up, keep up the good work. Don't get no for an answer because you are spending good time and you have a lot of good energy, and this would be completely a success. You just be at. You got to be at. Thank you so much, David. I appreciate that. I'll take that to heart. Bye, Thank everybody. You. Bye now.